I'm Frida Davis and um, sometimes I write it Frida Mary Davis and um, I'm a poet and an artist and a creative thinker, that's how I describe myself. I've been writing poetry since I was 14, which is a long, long time, certainly more than 50 years. Sometimes poetry can seem to be very sort of at odds with, with what people want to do and what they're interested in. And I was involved with political groups and with starting up the Women's Centre. Um, and it, it always seemed to me there was an element missing but without that sort of creative side. Um, people could be very serious about politics and things, but uh, sometimes um, when you're trying to do something new, it's good to have poetry involved because poetry is about putting into words things that haven't been expressed before and so it's a way of reaching forward into what it is you're trying to do. About 15 years ago um, Jill Barker actually is a person who started up, she came down to the puzzle and said oh we ought to have a bit of culture here, let's have a poetry night. She didn't write poetry herself but she wanted to hear poetry so she just advertised there'd be a poetry night and so several of us turned up. <laughs> we get all sorts of different people. These days we have a guest and then we have an open mic slot, so we get a mix of both. And all sorts of people come. I think it's really important. I mean, I've been aware for some time that there are a lot of creative people in this valley and um, some of them have got together to do small things. Millbank had, had a bit of a, an arts sort of trail, didn't it? And, and they do the open studios. There's one or two people around who join in with that where you can go and see, see an artist at work sort of thing. Um, but, but on the whole, there's, there's loads of people who are just pegging away on their own, trying to be creative and, and not in touch with anyone else much, you know, doing it at home and teaching themselves and so on. Um, and and I've, I've become aware for some time that there needs to be a way for people to support each other and communicate and, you know, develop a market and develop a recognition of this as a centre for the arts. So I think it's going to be really important the way it's bringing people together. We're, we're going to have a stall, uh, or part of a stall on the market on the Saturday evening, so that'd be good fun. We're going to, to frame up some pictures and sell them, or hope to sell them, <laughs> and sell some calendars as well. And, uh, and then we're putting on a, a, a poetry night at the Jubilee Rooms that's going to be poetry about railways and transport and things. So that'd be interesting because uh, there was an anthology published not so long ago which all about the railways. And uh, one of the poets who contributed to that is coming up and maybe one or two more of them will come. It's going to make people much more aware of art as a, a really good way of expressing yourself and of enjoying yourself and of communicating with other people. And, um, and also just more aware of how many other people are around doing it so maybe other things will come together and when the fire and water thing gets going and they get those buildings turned into a community centre it'll be a real arts community centre so it'll be a focus for, for people but we're hoping the festival will be that focus until the buildings are there. <laughs>